I have in my hand here a balcony satellite dish mounting bracket. Okay, so you can just see here, we can see the actual bracket part of it here. So the key points on it is we have a plate here and we have four holes. They're slotted here, as you can see, give a bit of flexibility. Um, the plate on this is three millimeters thick, it's galvanized, it projects out 30 centimeters and then rises up a further 24 centimeters. And it comes with a plastic cap to stop being filled with water. And even if water did get in, we can see it's hollow here, it could drain away. Right? So what's special about this is that it also comes with a set of U-bolts. Now the U-bolts are 3 inch, 75 millimeters, um, and the overall length is just under 100 millimeters, okay? And they can be mounted in one of two ways. They can be mounted this way, and because the holes are equidistant, they can also be mounted this way here, okay? So we say it's for, and the name indicates, for mounting a satellite dish on a balcony. Now it also can actually be used for mounting a, a TV aerial on a balcony as well, because if we pick the typical UHF aerial, we just use a bracket here, a more common one, we could drop it on here and it bolt on and we could mount your aerial then as normal, okay? So this bracket fits on quite well, that's from a UHF uh, aerial. Uh, so it can be used for either mounting a sky satellite dish or a universal dish. And one of the reasons you'd use it, of course, is that if you move into an apartment block, you'd probably be very limited in terms of, if you're a couple stories up, you probably won't be leaning out, going out a ladder, going on, and there could be restrictions on that. Uh, so you, you might be allowed to put a bracket like this, uh, and it can make it uh, a much simpler job, okay? Now, there's two main ways you can mount it, as I indicated from the earlier thing here. So let's just look, we're going to be using these U-bolts, we're going to be using these uh, clasps for going on the back, uh, which will screw on with these nuts. And you can see the nuts here, we use the 13 millimeter uh, socket uh, for doing this. So I'm just going to indicate two quick ways we could do this. So the first way would be, if I came along and I wanted to mount it as if, we'll say, we had a bracket or a pole that was going across horizontally like this. What we do is we just actually come along, just rotate this socket, and I'll just hold this back here. And what we would do is, this is the back actually, we would come along and we would slot through this new bolt like this and we'd put a second new bolt to the other side, we'd put on the latch in the back and then we'd screw it in and we'd lock it tightly into position. That'd be the first way of mounting it. So what if we had a situation where this bar wasn't accessible or wasn't suitable for whatever reason and we wanted to bolt it onto an upright? Well we can see that the previous approach would be successful because clearly now we're not mounting it. But what we would do here is we'd simply mount it this way where we mount the top here and then we repeat the same process on the bottom and we can bolt it in. So it becomes a very quick job. You can mount it very securely, particularly if what you're mounting it on is very stable and you don't need to um, any special tools. And if you want to, if you're staying in a place for a temporary amount of time, you can bring it with you. You can also see how accessible something like this would be. If you're using it in a thing where you're actually moving around, we'll say in a, um, a camper van or something like this, you come along and you just bolt it on and then you could adjust it again, take it down very quickly. So it's extremely simple, but it's proven to be a very popular product and adds nicely into the range of satellite and TV aerial brackets that we sell as well. So that's it anyway, an overview of the Balcony uh, satellite dish mounting bracket.